Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with a video on a little app we made. Now, basically what this app does is it lets you search the dictionary on your Mac for a definition instead of for a term. Because if you hadn't already noticed, if you open up the dictionary app, which is just comes with your Mac, and you type a word, for instance, let's say I look up moron, it says the definition is a stupid person. And I can look up the word idiot, and it says the definition is also a stupid person. But if I look up a stupid person, um, no results come up. And basically it doesn't let you search by definition, it only lets you search by word. Um, and this is kind of frustrating, especially if you want to see all the words with the same definition. For instance, let's say I wanted to find all the words that have a stupid person somewhere in their definition. Um, I can't do that using the dictionary app. And that's where our app, Definition Search, comes in. So all you gotta do is open up Definition Search and type a phrase, for instance, a stupid person, and uh, it'll tell you all the words that contain this somewhere in their definition. So for instance, if I go back into the dictionary app and let's say I search something in this list like blockhead, uh, indeed the definition is a stupid person. Um, you know, you can, you can see all of these. Um, so this is a really neat and easy way to find all the words with the definition. So now I'm just going to talk a little bit about how this actually works, how this app works uh, for all of the programmers who are interested. So basically all this program does is it creates its own index of all the stuff in the Mac dictionary and then it searches that because unfortunately Apple has an API for looking up words in the dictionary by word but just like their dictionary app they actually have no API for looking up all the words with something in the definition so the app instead goes through and creates uh, a database uh, by you know brute forcing through the entire Mac dictionary it creates a database with all the definitions and all the words and you can actually see this if you go up into the preferences of the app. Um, it'll talk about indexes and when the last index was made. And obviously I ship an index with the app so you don't have to make one. But uh, you can actually go ahead and start indexing and it'll start regenerating a database and you can obviously you can cancel that or pause it or whatever. Um, so basically this app just uh, uses one of Apple's silly APIs and improves upon it to add functionality. So I hope this was interesting to some of you. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe and goodbye.